Hello everyone, welcome to another video and this time it's going to be a bit different and I'm going to show you how to actually download and install Jira software server. So I know that the support for server will be ending in February next year, but you can still experiment with some of uh, some of its functionalities uh, but the problem is you cannot actually um, you cannot download any of the apps so if you wanted to try out like the script runner for server and write your own scripts it won't be possible but then again I'm gonna show you how you can actually do it so just go to Google you type in download Jira and you go for this option here download Jira server now what I want to do I want to select the Tri data center for free I want to select my own hardware and this is going to be for Linux operating system because I'm using the Linux operating system I'm going to download this I'm going to save It's going to take a bit, so I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to get, get back to you once it's actually downloaded. Alright everyone, I'm back and this is actually how it's going to look like. So, you're going to have the downloaded file in the bin extension. Now, the thing is, in order to make this uh, work so as you can see when you right click on it nothing actually happens and this is because uh, it it's not still identified as a program in here so what you need to do is you need to open your terminal now I will actually add under window in here so you can actually see it all right gonna share all right so now what you want to do so first of all you want to go for and see where you currently are so that is the print working directory so I wanna I want to go for downloads so that's CD and now actually this is what you have so this is a bit confusing so I'm going to rename this and I'm going to say Atlassian.bin so that is going that is going to be the name of my file now so I just rename it so what you want to do right now is you want to type the following command you want to type in chmod plus x and then you go for a classian dot bin now what uh, what uh, this command does is that now when you actually want when you actually want to when you actually want to uh, run the program gonna be able to do it so let me just go back in here let me just select for the home yeah let me just one second here all right so this is it now when you go to downloads and when you right click on it you're gonna have this option that says run as a program now when you're running it as a program a few things are gonna appear right here so I'm gonna show you which one it, it is let me just navigate back to my terminal so this is what you get so right now it's actually asking you if you want to move with this all right so you type in y then you go with okay now he's gonna ask you like what kind of a 
install you want to have. So obviously I'm going to go for express install. I'm going to leave everything as it is and just gonna go with I and press enter. I'm just gonna wait for everything to load up. I'm gonna say yes to all. And I go, I'm gonna go with Y. And now it says launching Jira software. All right, so it's gonna run on your local machine. And when it's running on your local machine, you're gonna be using the local host. Now, I'm gonna show you how, how that works as well. So let's get back to our, let's get back to our, our main window right now. Right, so let me just get rid of the ones that we actually do not need. Alright, let me just Yeah, let me let me just add a new one. Give me just a sec. Alright, so yeah. For the Jira software, there we go. Now if I go in and type in localhost with the port 8080, and I press and enter, this is what I'm gonna get. So it says Jira setup, and when you have options, set it up for me, or I'll set up for myself. I'm gonna say set it up for me. And now in here, you're gonna generate your trial license. All right, so in here, I'm gonna go for Jira server. That is totally fine. I'm gonna generate the license. I'm gonna say this is totally fine. I'm just gonna type in my email address. And I'm just going to type in my username that I want to use, the password I want to use. I'm just going to wait for it to, to load a bit. All right, just going to wait for it. Yeah, it's gonna take take a while because it needs to install all of the plugins and it needs to set up the environment and the database since in the uh, Jira server the Jira server is actually using its own um, database a SQL database so yeah all right just gonna wait for it a bit a bit and it's gonna finish. So it's not that complicated, only the chmod command. You just need, also you need to rename your uh, bin file into something more simple. And basically that's it. Then you run it as a program and then you let, you let it to do everything else. Okay. All right, in here, it just needs to finish the setup. And even it says, don't worry, I'm still working. Yeah. Now that you just get click on, let's get started. All right. We're all set. Now we need to, yeah, we need to select your language. Choose my avatar. I don't need it. Create my project and there we go. I'm gonna select the Kanban. And I'm gonna say Jira Bro. 
and I click on submit and basically that is all all right i hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching